Up to this point in the course, you've seen the role that views, controllers, and scope play, and we've seen a little bit about data binding and filters. Well, we need a way to load different views into our single page application because really a single page application, as shown earlier, is a shell page where different views can be loaded in. So in this module, we're going to talk about routing. And the role routing plays in general is to marry a view with a controller and we can load different views dynamically. So I can click on a link and load a customer's view or an order's view or whatever it may be. So let's go ahead and jump in and talk more about what we'll cover throughout this module. So we'll start off by learning about what routing is and why it's so important for single page applications. From there, I'll talk about a special module provided by AngularJS called ng-route, and there's also a script associated with this that we'll need to load into our shell page. Next up, we'll be learning how to configure routes, and we're going to actually use a module to do this, and we'll have access to something called a route provider, which will allow us to define a path as well as the view and the controller that should load when that route is invoked in the browser. And then finally, when we have multiple views that can be loaded and we have a true single page application, how does the shell page determine where those views actually get loaded? So we're going to talk about a special directive that's used in this scenario called ng-view. And I'll show you how in situations where we have multiple views, we can load those views in a specific area of that shell page. Now from a big picture standpoint, we're really going to talk about just about everything on this diagram everything towards the top anyway. So we'll talk about modules, how we can use a module to configure routes. A route you'll see consists of a path, a view, and a controller at a minimum. And then the same principles we've learned up to this point, directives, scope, and the data binding process that occurs between a controller and a view through that scope still apply here. So everything we've been building up learning is definitely applicable. We're just gonna add one more piece into the puzzle here. So let's jump on in and get started with an overview and routing. 